Good day, I am Alfonso C. Hamor III and together with me are my group mates John Paul Espera, Patricia Ann Guansha, Jean Marian Guatelara, Rain Marie Guevara, and Chloe Marie Ibanez. And we are from the University of St. LaSalle College of Nursing. Today, we are honored to present to you the economic security of private hospital nurses. This study is a tribute study for Maria Teresa Cruz, a nurse who died of coronavirus disease and received 60 pesos daily hazard pay. Purpose and objective of the study. Filipino nurses are sensationally skilled workers in the field of healthcare services. They are important resource of healthcare considering that they are the ones who deliver much of the care towards the patients. However, the economic security will greatly affect the quality of patient care. The aim of the study has determined the level of economic security among private hospital nurses and to provide data of hospital nurses in relation to their salary, bonuses, benefits, and overtime, double shifting, pay, hazard pay, and retirement benefit. Theoretical Framework This study used Herzberg's motivation theory, two-factor theory, as it explained the factor affecting the level of economic security of nurses. It involves two factors, namely the motivators and the hygiene factors. Motivating factors generates job satisfaction. They are the outcome of the job like recognition, reward, responsibility, promotion, and growth have potential to generate job satisfaction. Herzberg categorically explained that the second set of factors should avoid power cuts, poor relation with the superior and colleagues, poor pay, restrictive policies, and job insecurity, for it may cause disturb to the employee. Methodology Research Design Descriptive Correlational Participants of the study, 46 private hospital nurses. The study utilized convenience and snowball sampling. Researcher instrument. Research made survey questionnaire pattern to determine their demographic profiles, such as age, sex, employment status, designated position, and years of service. And 15 item questionnaire for the level of economic security among private hospital nurses in terms of salary, bonuses, double shifting pay, hazard pay, and retirement benefits. Statistical tool and analysis. Frequency and percentages, mean and standard deviation, and chi-square test. Results and discussion. Table 1 shows that there was a total of 46 participants selected through convenience non-random sampling. In terms of age, 31, 67.4%, majority of them are 21 to 30 years old. 11 or 23.9% of the participants are males and 35 or 76.1% are females. When categorized according to their employment status, 84.8% are already permanent. As to their designated position, only 1 or 2.2% is working as behaviors, while 28 are working as nurses, 1 to 3. Lastly, 14 or 30.4% are already having 5 to 10 years of working experience, while only 3 or 6.5% have more than 15 years of experience. So for the level of satisfaction in the economic security of private hospital nurses, in terms of salary, 21 are somewhat satisfied with their abilities to meet financial obligations, while 21 are not satisfied with their abilities to provide financial help to family members. In terms of bonuses or benefits, 23 are somewhat satisfied with the extras that they are able to buy for themselves or their loved ones, and 22 are also somewhat satisfied with the benefits they receive from the hospitals. On the other hand, 19 are not satisfied with the level of employee benefits they receive. In terms of overtime or double shifting pay, 21 are not satisfied in compromising their physical rest to relieve financial issues and how their paychecks reflect their missed holiday with their family. On the other hand, 23 are not satisfied by the compensation rate offered by the hospital during the double shifting or overtimes. For the hazard pay, 17 are somewhat satisfied with the level of quality of insurance protection they have during the pandemic. 21 are not satisfied with the hazard pay they receive from the hospital, and 19 are not satisfied with how their paycheck reflects the new condition of their working environment. In terms of retirement benefits, 24, 25, and 20 are not satisfied with the sufficiency of their retirement nest egg with their estate plan and level and quality of insurance protection they have respectively. For the significant relationship between the level of economic security and their demographic profile, in terms of salary as to the satisfied with the, with the ability to meet financial obligation, there is a significant relationship in terms of designated position and years of service, but no significant relationship was shown in terms of age, sex, and employment status. As to satisfied with the ability to provide financial help to family members, there is a significant relationship in terms of designated position and years of service. However, no significant relationship was shown in terms of age, sex, and employment status. In terms of bonuses or benefits, as to the satisfied with the extras, able to provide for oneself and loved ones, there is a significant relationship in terms of age, 
designated position, and years of service. No significant relationship was shown in terms of sex and employment status. As to the satisfied with the level of employee benefits received, there is a significant relationship in terms of age, designated position, and years of service. No significant relationship was shown in terms of sex and employment status. As to the satisfied with the, with the benefits received from the hospital, there is a significant relationship in terms of age, designated position, and years of service. No significant relationship was shown in terms of sex and employment status. In terms of overtime or double shifting pay, as to satisfied with the results of compromising physical rest to relieve financial issues, there is a significant relationship in years of service and there is no significant relationship in designated position and as well as age, sex, and employment status. As to the satisfied with the rate of compensation offered by the hospital during double shifting and overtimes, there is a significant relationship in terms of years of service and no significant relationship in designated position, sex, and employment status. As to the satisfied with how my paycheck reflects my missed holidays with my family, there is a significant relationship in terms of designated position and years of service, and no significant relationship was shown in terms of sex and employment status. In terms of hazard pay, as to the satisfied with the level and quality of insurance protection they have during the pandemic, there is a significant relationship in terms of designated position, and no significant relationship was shown in terms of age, sex, employment status, and years of service. As to satisfied with the hazard pay received from the hospital, there is a significant relationship in terms of designated position, years of service, and no significant relationship was shown in terms of age, sex, and employment status. As to satisfied with how my paycheck reflects the new condition and working environment, there is a significant relationship in, year, in terms of age, designated position, and years of service. No significant relationship was shown in terms of sex and employment status. In terms of retirement benefits, as to the satisfied to be on track to build a sufficient retirement nest egg, there is a highly significant relationship in terms of age, designated position, and years of service. No significant relationship was shown in terms of age, sex, and employment status as to the satisfied with a state plan. There is a highly significant relationship in terms of age and years of service, and no significant relationship was shown in terms of sex, employment status, and designated position. As to the satisfied with the level and quality of insurance protection they have, there is a highly significant relationship in terms of age, years of service, and designated position. No significant relationship was shown in terms of sex and employment status. For the conclusion, this section presents the conclusions drawn from the results of this study. The profile of nurses was categorized according to their age, sex, employment status, designated position, and years of service. The higher portion of participants is for nurses ages 21 to 30 years old, but 51 to 60 years old are the least among the participants. The researchers have concluded that there is an ability for young nurses to learn and carry out responsibilities. For the data under sex, results show that there are more female nurses compared to male nurses. For their employment status, the higher proportion of their participants are permanent, which concludes that the respondents who answered permanently are more skilled compared to those who are probationary and not permanent nurses. For the data under designated position, 28 nurses are working as nurses 1 to 3 and only one nurse working as the head nurse, which includes that nursing is a collaborative profession. For the years of service, the higher proportion of participants answered to 5 to 10 years of working experience, which concludes that respondents who have served for more than 5 to 10 years are more experienced in their profession as compared to the lesser years. In terms of hazard pay, 17 nurses or 37% were somewhat satisfied with the level and quality of insurance protection they have, especially during the pandemic, whereas 21 nurses or 45.7% were not satisfied with the hazard pay they received from the hospital, and 19 nurses or 41.3% were not satisfied with how their paycheck reflects the new condition of their working environment. In terms of retirement benefits, 24 nurses or 52.2% were not satisfied that they are on track to build a sufficient retirement nest egg and 25 nurses or 54.3% were not satisfied with their estate plan, and 20 nurses or 43.5% were not satisfied with the level and quality of insurance protection they currently have. The findings and the conclusion of these study have implied some recommendations that can be addressed to the involved stakeholders. As mentioned to Herzberg's motivational theory, it is the motivating factors such as recognition, reward, responsibility, promotion, and growth that generates satisfaction in each employee. For the past year up to the present, the government has seen the sacrifices offered by the medical frontline including nurses. It also made them aware of the level of economic security that these workers have. They should be served as a basis for the provisions in line with the economic security of nurses, such as additional benefits, increase in hazard pay, and salary. 
Also, the Department of Health has a responsibility for the improvement of the private hospital systems when it comes to regulating economic security. Moreover, private hospitals has to be informed about the current situation of the nurses. Neglect to the voices of the nurses is a big risk factor and poses a threat in the population of nurses in the country and also in the delivery of healthcare systems. In addition, private hospitals need to develop guidelines and provisions in economic security of their employees to ensure a good relationship between hospital nurses. Academia has also a lot to offer in terms of strengthening the social and educational support among nurses. They have the resources to do more researches tackling different problems of nurses in the field like economic security, relationship of nurses to their private institutions, relationship of nurses with the government, job satisfaction, and their state of well-being.